I thought I might just drive up this road a little ways and uh, see what I can see. I know it's going to be sunny up here <laughs> and it's not sunny back at camp, but um, yeah, so yeah, just drive up here a little ways. Yeah. <laughs> This is Usall Road, and I thought, well, I'm just going to drive up here a little ways, uh, but then I kind of got carried away, and there's all these ruts in the road. I mean, it's really got some pretty gnarly ruts, so you kind of have to thread your way through. I mean, I just don't have the ground clearance, so I really have to be careful. Uh, yeah, it's at the point now where I've gone through such gnarly stuff. I don't want to go back, but it doesn't seem to be getting any better. I was really hoping that, uh, yeah, I probably should have turned around a long time ago. <laughs> oh well. This is one of those many times you want to get out and look before you drive around the corner because you don't want to get around the corner and find yourself on the wrong edge of a 12-inch rut. <laughs> this isn't so bad. This is actually not too bad at all. Oops. <laughs> all right. Well, that's deeper than um, I thought. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is entirely doable. I just passed two gals on the road uh, in different cars. Uh, they were friends following each other. One of them had a first generation CRV. This is the second generation. She had a first generation. And the other gal was in an older Honda uh, Accord. 
and they said that there's still some pretty sketchy spots up here and but they said that obviously if they can make it I can make it so I'm actually feeling pretty good about now <laughs> um, there's a good little rut ahead so I need to focus on this rut but uh, yeah all right probably I don't know a good hour hour and a half left to go <laughs> oh yeah probably a little more adventure than I had in mind when I left this morning I'm definitely more adventure than I had in mind <laughs> all right let's do this let's do this <laughs> I don't know how tired you are of watching me drive this road, but I'm getting a little tired driving it. <laughs> uh, my car says it's like 56 degrees or something, and yeah, I'm working up a sweat. Uh, probably just nervousness. I mean, yeah. It's, um, it's very sketch in places, for sure. <laughs> So I've sped up the film a little bit here so that you can see that the ruts in the road are a pretty consistent feature. Also, you wouldn't want to drive this road after it rains unless you have a really good 4x4 because the road is pretty slick. I'm driving it in September here and it hasn't rained for probably a month. There are several parts of this road where there are very few places to pull over and let someone pass. So if you came upon someone 
you might have to back up for quite a ways or the other person would have to back up for quite a ways. But the forest is pretty beautiful here. This is a second growth redwood forest. So it was pretty much clear cut around the turn of the century, around 1900. But you can see it's grown back pretty well so far. I drove from Usal Beach uh, all the way out to 101 and it took me probably three and a half to four hours. It's less than 20 miles, but as you can see, a lot of the time I was driving at five miles per hour, or maybe 10 miles per hour tops. So yeah, it was a pretty long drive. When you get back out to the main paved road, you're going to go through an old growth redwood grove. And it never gets old driving through these beautiful, majestic trees. I just love drives like this. This was my first time camping at Usal Beach, and it was absolutely amazing. It's now definitely one of my favorite places to camp in California.